Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome back to our Lego room. Today we're taking a look at Lego Ideas set 21344, the Orient Express. This set contains 2,540 pieces. And this is going to be the first video in a series of videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at the finished Lego Ideas build, talking through some of the things that I like about this impressive locomotive and you know, the train cars that come with it. And then we're going to be following up by getting the set motorized, making some changes to the wheels on the, the passenger cars, and then I've got some ideas and things that I want to explore with adding additional train cars to this particular train and even looking at some options for a different locomotive to pull the train. So lots of great things ahead in this video series. But for now, let's start to take a look at the awesome base Lego Ideas Orient Express set. So before we jump into looking at the finished build, just want to take a quick look at the instruction manual here. Really excellent job, I think, they've, that they've done with it. Uh, excellent image of the sleeper car here on the front of the manual. Really nice photography. Great view of that particular portion of the, the model. Then next up, we've got a little section talking about the fan designer of the set. Really cool to read. Uh, they did an excellent job with the, you know, the original design of the train. So nice to have that section there and to read about it. And you can see the original Lego Ideas submission here. Now we jump into more of a history section, which I think is a really nice addition. I'm always a big fan of sort of really learning about the, the context of these trains, where and when they were used, the inspiration that led to their development. So nice to see just a little bit of generic history here, then running into history about the Orient Express itself and how it came into being. Really nice photography, you know, nice to see those images in there. Then jumping into talking a bit about the the route and some of the areas along the the route of the, the Orient Express. Again, really big fan of the images that they've included here. Nice to see the um, the historical you know, images of the, the locomotive and train cars there. So a really nice, really nice section. Glad that they've chosen to include this in here. And then you can see a bit of a timeline here as to uh, the development of the Orient Express. All just really interesting details that, you know, you might not know otherwise and just add color to the, the history of this particular train and how it was used. So big fan of this. I think it was, you know, a really nice addition to the instruction manual. Then they've got a little bit of a blurb here talking about the, the Lego designers who worked on the set, which is another nice touch as well. And you can see we've got some more photography work here which you know gives you some nice nice views of interesting portions of this build. So, you know, just something I wanted to cover, a really nice touch I think and really impressed with what they did with the instruction manual. So, next up we've got the minifigures that come with the set. We've got eight minifigures and a luggage cart. All of the figures look really great in my opinion. Uh, nice choices, I think, when it comes to hairstyles, hats, general, you know, torso and leg prints. I think they all fit very well with the, the theme and the time period in question here. Uh, really like the torso prints on these two figures. Great hat as well there. 
Love the, the sort of gold band around the, the middle of the hat there. Really nice touch. Like the Albert Einstein figure here as well, or, you know, Albert Einstein inspired uh, figure. Uh, definitely gives off that vibe with the, the hair and the general look. And the photographer looks great as well. Love the uh, the old timey video camera that he's holding there. And, you know, the mustache on the, the minifigure head looks great as well. Again, down here, a couple of great torso prints. Love the, the red hat that the reporter has. The hairstyle on the, uh, the wealthy passenger looks great. Just nice touches all around. So really happy with the, the minifigures they went with here. I think they're nice additions. And the, the little luggage cart there I think is pretty cool as well with the, the stickers on there, you can see the, the interesting details that provides. So overall, quite happy with the minifigure selection. I think they've done an excellent job here and these are all gonna be great additions to our collection. Now, taking a look at the two train cars, we've got a dining car and a sleeper car. Love the design of both of these. I think they look amazing. Big fan of the bigger kind of oversized train cars. I think they add a lot to the the look of the train and I think they should be really nice additions to our layout. Also looking forward to building more of these. I do have some instruction sets for building larger style passenger cars like this. And I think that I will be jumping on those soon because I think the that size and form factor works really well for the cars. Couple things to notice here. One, I have an earlier version of the set. So I've got the the misspelled uh, tiles on the, the top part of the, the cars there. And I also have the, the wrong sticker sheet. You can notice that the the stickers that went on the doors are a little brighter yellow rather than the the dark gold yellow that is around the the line on the side of the cars and you know the window color i will be working on getting those fixed up i'm going to order the you know the correct ones from lego get the replacement parts i knew about both of those back when the set first came out but when I was putting the set together, I really only thought about the, the tiles up top. And I was like, oh, those will be easy to, uh, to replace. So I went ahead building that. Didn't think too much about the stickers until right at the end. And I was like, oh, those don't look quite right. So, you know, as part of continuing to add to this set and fix it up, we'll get the, the stickers and the, the tiles sorted out. I think it is too bad that, uh, that Lego, you know, shipped a whole bunch of these with the the incorrect tiles and sticker sheets. Uh, it's definitely something that one would think would get caught in, you know, a QA process. But, you know, nonetheless, I'm not too worried at the moment. I think that the cars still look really nice. And, you know, like I said, we'll get those replacement ones and fix that up so that it, you know, is, uh, is perfect and top notch, but just something to be aware of. That's, uh, that's why those look that way at the moment. Now, as I mentioned, really like the, the printed tiles there. I think they add a lot seeing all the different stops along the, the route of the Orient Express. Nice choice here on the side. We've got the, uh, the, numbering on the the side of the train here you've got the uh you know the name of what is contained within here we've got the the dining car you know or a restaurant car and over here you can see it's the sleeper car it's got the you know lits or beds inside there really nicely done i think those choices to print those tiles and especially the orient express uh bricks there uh, looks really nice and was a great choice. 
Big fan of these windows as well. I think the coloring is excellent on them and gives you a nice view into the interior of the car. In addition to, you know, just fixing up the tiles and the stickers, other things that I can see myself doing with these in the next little bit as we continue to sort of fix up and build out this train, uh, definitely want to consider putting lights inside the, the train cars. I think there's a lot of amazing detail in there and having lights inside would be an excellent way to uh, really be able to appreciate all of those details even more. Obviously, a couple of choices that I'm going to make that didn't make sense for Lego necessarily when putting the set together. I'm going to look at changing the couplers for the, the train cars, either to magnets or to um, the KD couplers that Brick Model Railroader sells. Uh, one or the other, but I would like to get that changed out. I think it'll be a lot nicer for, uh, you know, getting the cars hooked up and put on the, the layout and taken off the layout. Uh, so that's one thing I'm going to be looking to do there. Also, we've got the, the default wheels that come, came with the set here, which are fine, but not great for, you know, minimizing the the friction and resistance when you are pulling these train cars around on the the layout definitely going to want to change out the wheel sets we'll see what we can do in terms of preserving the the look of the the wheel areas because i think they've done an excellent job with the the overall look of these you know sort of the underside of the train but definitely want to look at swapping out those wheels with our uh, roller bearing uh, wheel sets. I think it'll make the train run a lot smoother. And as I mentioned, I'm definitely looking at uh, some options for expanding out this train. I think two train cars is great. You know, it was not a bad thing for what they were shipping in the set, but for running around the, the layout and running at shows, it would be nicer to have, you know, more in the range of four, six, maybe even eight uh, train cars here. So that'll be a choice that I will be making and fixing up so that uh, we can pull as many of these train cars as possible. As I mentioned, really big fan of the underneath details there. I think that uh, unit underneath there adds a lot to the overall look of the train. So really nice touch. We'll be keeping that even when we're swapping the wheel sets out. And it'll just be a matter of what these look like post, uh, post wheel swap. Also, I have to say big fan of the doors on the, the train car think they not only do they look nice on their own, but uh, really like the shape that it provides for the the end part of the car here. You get a bit of a tapering in towards the end and the door really helps contribute to that uh, that nice taper at the end of the the end of the train car. You can see the nice details here on the end of the the restaurant car and you're getting similar details if you look over here at the at the sleeper car kind of hard to see with the the lighting the way it is but you know again big fan of what they've done here i think that these train cars look great and you know again i guess one other detail that we haven't looked at too closely is the roof I think it should be really easy to take this roof on and off. That'll give us some options when we're considering how to light the interior of the train cars, but nice texture and overall look to the top of the train cars with those uh, roof panels that they have on there. So, you know, I think the, the train cars look great. Uh, it's gonna be fun to see them moving around our layout. The big next step is just to get more of them into our collection here and make sure that more of them, you know, are able to be pulled 
So reducing the weight of each car and the resistance that's coming from those wheels will be important. So next up, we've got the locomotive and tender here. Really nicely done, in my opinion. I know that these are a bit of a contentious point for people because uh, it is quite different from what the locomotive was in the original ideas submission. But I think what they've ended up with here is really well done and uh, should look great pulling this train. One thing to note before we go deeper looking at the locomotive, the set does also come with a number of parts for uh, building out a display stand for displaying the locomotive and train cars. I'm not building that. That's not the way I plan to use this particular train. I want this on my layout and actively moving around the layout. So these parts are just going to get sorted away and used for other projects that we have on the go, which I think is still great. It's nice, always a bonus to get extra pieces like this that you can utilize. So happy with that. Now, as I mentioned, I do want this train to be something that moves around our layout and currently it is not motorized. I think it should be fairly easy to motorize though and that is one of the projects that we have planned as we continue to build out and improve upon this train. Lots of space in the tender for a battery pack. You know, I don't think it'll be too bad to get a motor hooked up to the locomotive but we will see as we work ahead on that but you know in its base form here i think this is a really nice looking locomotive and will be a great addition to our collection as i mentioned before i am looking at options for replacing this locomotive and having a different one that we can call on to pull this train but you know, I still plan on keeping this locomotive assembled and, you know, I think it will be a great addition to our collection. A lot of really nice details that they've included here. Love the look of the front part of the train here. Uh, great, great work that they've done there. A lot of nice details across the top. Really love these. I guess this would be like where the whistle is coming from. Really nice touch there. And you'll notice again, there are a couple of stickers on here that are the incorrect coloring. I will get those swapped out as well and fixed up. I think it's a little more noticeable on the locomotive, the, the incorrect coloring than it is on the, the train cars. But again, not something I'm too worried about. I think it looks fine as is, but we will get the replacement stickers to fix that up. Also, before we go and look at the other sides of this, big fan of the, the wheels and the rods that they've added in here. I think that should be a nice touch as well when this locomotive is motorized and moving around our layout. And then, you know, just looking inside the back of the, the locomotive here, Lots of really nice details and touches. Again, this is using a weird sort of clip method for coupling the train locomotive and the tender together. I'll be replacing that out as well. Like I said, haven't decided yet whether it'll be the KD couplers or magnets that I use for this particular train, but either way, we will be updating those couplers, which I think will make it a lot easier and nicer for uh, you know uncoupling and coupling the, the various parts of the train and you know I think it'll just look nice as well so that'll be something that we will explore in upcoming videos but you know like I said really happy with the way this looks I think it is nice out of the box and we'll just be looking at some ways to, uh, you know, give us some different options for the locomotive on the train and, you know, some additional train cars that the, the locomotive can pull as well to maximize the look and feel of this set. So, you know, like I said, overall, really happy with the Lego Orient Express. Uh, I think any time that we get an additional... Uh, Lego train set made. It's a great thing. And, you know, now there's a lot of opportunities to continue to improve upon and work on this train. 
like I said, there'll be a number of videos ahead. We're going to be motorizing the train. We will be adding additional train cars, working on the couplers, uh, looking at another potential locomotive that we could build and use to run with this train sometimes. We'll be fixing up the uh, the tiles and the stickers for the set. And, you know, we'll see if there's any other projects that we can come up with along the way as we uh, improve the overall look and just build upon what is a great foundation for a Lego train. As I mentioned, also interested in adding some lights to the set. So that'll be something that we will explore as well. So overall, really happy with the Lego Orient Express. I think once uh, we get this motorized, it's going to be a great addition to our layout and definitely some fun projects ahead as we continue to uh, improve upon this Lego train set. Now, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And thank you very much for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.